So as we're running through our airplane, as uh, one of our general front plane hip hinge uh, trainers and a lot of our prep for a lot of our stability uh, into the bottom of our uh, single leg deadlift, um, especially getting into like the, reducing some of the peel out. Um, we always have our checklist. We have the tripod in the foot. We have uh, forward alignment, knee, hip, foot. So when we get into the motion and we're going up and down, we want to feel like a nice crease between the hip between the thigh and the torso as we go back and forth. So we want to feel like a little knobby guys in the pelvis, kind of like that up-down motion back and forth. So we want to have the majority of that crease happening across the hip, so that'll really get the most load of the glute to get um, to get the hip stability that we're looking for. Especially as we go forward into a, uh, a single leg deadlift. When we get in here, we start to get that peel out effect. We're looking for that deep hinge and to get like a fully centric on our glute. Um, so when we run through this motion, we start to run some problems with it. Usually when we get to a certain point, we'll start to either peel out a little bit or we'll start to get a little, up, a little bit of upper body de uh, deviation one way or the other. So to correct this, um, if we're having uh, some issue getting that frontal plane hip crease, is we can use the back leg down as almost like a little pivot point, almost like a tail, to give us a little bit of a guidance. Because usually what we'll see is we'll start to either get like a little fish tail, we'll start to go forward, and this will start to deviate one side or the other, trying to give us some balance, or we'll start to deviate the shoulders. So basically, just the tip of the toe down in the back, if we put too much weight on it, it's gonna act as a little bit of extra support. We wanna we want make sure we have a work on the front foot through the uh, tripod and the rooted foot. So we're gonna have uh, this, this tip of the toe down, toe down for a pivot. So we're gonna have shoulders and hips to move together, back and forth, this little bit of pivot. So as soon as we feel like, okay, I'm getting a good hip crease, this is back and forth, this is moving, I can then pick this up off the ground, and then, and then transition to like our full, uh, full, full frontal plane, uh, full frontal plane uh, hip, uh, hip hinge and really complete a lot of our airplane exercise. So uh, back leg for a pivot if you need to, you can do it for the first couple reps for a warm up or just make a whole set out of it. We'll have a nice little regression if we're having some issue with that.